Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Elk Calls here ahead of the second matchup between the Ben Elks and the Bombat Northwest here with Ethan Thomas, the future Utah Ute out of Yapapai College. Had a fantastic year there, led the team in virtually every statistical category, RBIs, hits, home runs, you name it. And just what contributed to that breakout year this year? You know, I, uh, I had a simple approach of just, you know, driving the fastball early, you know, not getting deep into counts and you know, we face we face really good competition in that conference. So, you know, it was just a good year, good teammates, good coaching. You know, just simple approach. Yeah. And Yavapai in Arizona. You're originally from Mililani, Hawaii. Ended up ha having one of the tougher outcomes of the high school career and getting yeah. cut short by COVID. Uh -huh. Did that have any toll on your recruitment process or having to switch over to Yavapai? Yeah, so um, my plan was I was committed to Hawaii out of high school, and then um, class the COVID hit, and then the seniors at Hawaii they all came back, and you know I got dropped, you know I didn't, so I left, and then uh, you know the coaches at Avapai College they uh, they reached out to me, so I went there the JUCO route, and uh, best decision of my life, you know. Well, now you're getting your D1 opportunity after all here with Utah. Gary Henderson was at the games last yeah. week in Corvallis. Were you able to connect with him at all there? I was. Um, you know, good man. You know, it was nice to talk to him. You know, I had, I had a decent game. You know, kind of how the season's been going, you know. Good swings, just not a lot of numbers to show for it. So, you know, yeah, it was good. Well, I can attest, they were hard hit balls yeah. everywhere, all over the ball. It was just not finding green grass, but certainly all hit balls there. And what is it like playing for a coach by like Gary and that whole process there and being able to get recruited to Utah and have that opportunity? Um, that whole staff, you know, they they got their heads screwed on straight. You know, they're it's it's a good staff. You know, Mike Brown, I've known him. He was a recruiting coordinator at Hawaii before, and uh, now he's at Utah. He's a great guy. Um, you know, Henderson, just not a lot of knowledge you know he's at Kentucky you know it's just I'm, I'm happy to be going into a program with uh, you know coaches that know what they're doing you know 100 percent 100 percent and being able to compete in the Pac-12 in a power five conference and I've been asking this to your other teammates around here that you there's five teammates from Hawaii including yourself here on this team I've asked about them playing in high school did you play any of them in high school yeah so um I played Cody a bit played Bo, you know, a lot of them are younger than me, but uh, when I was a senior or junior, they were all freshmen and sophomores, and, you know, we, we all played together. It's a good vibe, you know. So it sounds like you had the upper hand in those matchups. Yeah, totally. I did. Well, awesome. Thanks so much, Ethan, for the time. Elks will be playing Bombat Northwest tonight at 5.05 first pitch before hitting the road to Springfield.